All right, so now that we know how to create the folder, what we're going to do is look at some PowerPoint um, efficiency or production tips. So the first is you notice I built everything with the blue. And one of the reasons I did that is because PowerPoint 2007 allows you to uh, quickly modify your colors. So I use the default color scheme. So if we go to the design template, I've got the colors that were just part of what they call Office in PowerPoint. But because I use this blue uh, color here, if I apply a different design scheme, you'll notice that my folder quickly changes. So if I want a different color folder, I can quickly do that. And so uh, because I use the design theme colors, um, I can make my folders any color I want to. So what I would do is if you're going to create a folder, um, just create a new theme color and then uh, use the uh, colors that you have in your theme. So this way, if you want to quickly modify your colors, you can do that. So that's one thing. Work with the PowerPoint color schemes. The other thing is this is actually made up of three objects. So what we want to do is if we go to PowerPoint 2007, there's a selection pane here. You'll see I've got three objects. So I can go ahead and title those. So I'm going to call this outer and we'll call this one here inner and then we'll call this tab. And so by um, titling these objects, it's going to be a lot easier. In this case, there's only three, so it's not that big of a deal. But if you had a whole bunch on there and you just wanted to say, okay, I want to get rid of um, this blue while I'm working, so you can just turn it off. But if you didn't title it, and you know, say you had a hundred objects on the screen, it'd be hard to know which one's what, so you have to end up uh, playing around and trying to figure out what's what. So by titling it's going to be a lot easier. The other thing too is when you go into PowerPoint animations here, um, let's say we want to animate this in here. Um, we'll just box it in or whatever. You'll notice the animation, the title uh, comes in on the animation. So then you know what object is animated or not. So uh, using the selection pane to title your objects is important. The other thing I do is I'll right click on these and then um, I will uh, group them. So a good example of why you would want to group it is one is it just keeps it as a single object. But the other thing is um, let's say we want to scale this. It's not grouped right now. If I scale it, all of the objects scale but they're all independent of the main structure. So let's go backwards here. Let's go ahead and group this. So now when I scale it and they're grouped, um, the folder is going to remain intact. So we do that. The other thing is once I've got that grouped, I can go back in here into the um, selection pane and I can title this group. Um, I can call this you know, blue folder if I wanted to. So now my whole group is there, blue folder, and I've got it minimized. Um, so I get in the habit of doing that. It's going to be a lot easier in the long term. Now the other thing is when I'm working in PowerPoint, I'll have two files, one file where I'm building my graphics and the other file where I'm actually working my course. In this case, I'm going to build my graphics. I'm going to save this as blue folder. So I just right click on it and hit save as picture. Now you have two options when you can save. So one is you can save, let me, let's do this here. So one option is you can save as a PNG. The other is, I don't know if you can see this, it's the enhanced Windows meta file and that'll keep it as a vector graphic. When you use gradients, your best bet is to save it as a PNG file. And the reason is because the vector graphics um, don't uh, keep that gradient color scheme. Uh, it doesn't work as well. So if you want gradients, use the PNG file and that'll work right. So we hit Save As. We've got blue folder. So now I can insert the blue folder picture. Um, and then you can see it looks, it looks pretty close. Um, to the one that you have in PowerPoint. But now it's a single object. And this is where it really comes in handy. Let's duplicate this slide here. So let's get rid of this object. And then on this slide, we're going to get rid of this one. So when we go to that selection pane, you'll notice the one with the PowerPoint object actually has four or three objects on it. So that would only increase if you had more objects on your screen. But because I inserted it as a picture, it's only one object. So it's going to make your publishing time a lot faster as well. So work with the color schemes, work with saving a picture, and name your layers.